there folks thanks for clicking onto my channel today this is cooking with Sasha China and today I'm going to show you how I'm going to do some multi-grain nutty biscuits slash cookies or whatever you want to call them well they were meant to be biscuits but last time they kind of turned out like thick cookies either way anywho so um sometimes when you get some cereal and you don't want to eat the whole lot you got some leftover what are you going to do with them so I'm going to use some leftover um, low sugar multigrain nutty granola as, um, yeah, we want some low sugar in there. Literally, all we're going to need is your leftover, whatever cereal it is, a whizzer, not a whizzer, blender, some water. I have got 500 milliliters and um, 500, yeah, ml in there. Milliliters. But we're not going to use all of that, literally just a wine glass full. Um, a bowl, some tin foil, a rolling pin, and some cookie cutters. Um, I've got some stars here left over from Christmas because whenever I do this, I usually put them in a cellophane wrap and give them out for Christmas. Cheap and easy gifts, yeah. So anyway, so the first thing we're gonna do is get some of our cereal mix and whiz it up. Okay, so just in this in this box here, we had some. Uh, as you can see, we had some pecan nuts, some pumpkin seeds, granola. We also had some cashews in there as well. Let's just get the packaging. What did we exactly have in there? So there you go. A delicious blend of hazelnuts, almonds, cashews, pecans, and a scattering of trio seeds and... Mm. Queen, 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 queen. <laughs> in there as well. So that's... What I've popped in my little blender here. I haven't done a video for a while. I've been uh, away. Well, I was meant to go away, but I didn't, in fact. So anyway, so now we're going to whiz it up. So when whizzing it up, we're going to want it into a nice fine powder. Okay, so as you can see, it's now a nice, fine texture. It's still a little bit coarse in some areas, but that's fine. You'll probably notice that this is very similar to one of the other uh, recipes I did online, and my video is actually somewhere on there, the oat and rosemary biscuits that I did for Christmas. So it's very similar to that. Actually, it is pretty much identical to that. Alrighty, so now we're gonna transfer this into there. Okay, so now we've transferred it into a bowl. What we're going to do now is add in some water. Just do it as a time, um, in at a time, sorry, a little bit at a time. Crikey, I can't even speak. Just do it a little bit in it at a time and then make it into a nice dough. We're then going to roll it out with this solder bad boy and then pop it onto our baking trays. Oh, by the way, yes, I have had the um, oven on as well. Sorry. And there we go, we're done. It is now into, actually it's, it's a little bit wetter than I wanted it, but um, literally I only used a couple of drops. <laughs> and I did, I should have thought cereal getting wet. Yeah, never mind. Okay, so what's happened now is obviously the mixture was very, as you can see, you see it, it was very, very wet. Um, so I don't think it would have done uh, very well in the old cookie cutters. So what I've done, I've just literally placed it all one, all in one into the baking tray. I'm gonna pop that in and basically I'm just gonna cut the granola bars, biscuits, cookies, whatever you want it, call it from that. I know this video doesn't seem very professional like my other ones. I say professional, I don't know. You guys know that I'm a bit scatty when it comes to this and obviously cooking's all about chopping and changing or just keeping to a recipe. I've completely just contradicted myself. But um, yeah, this one just calls for a bit of tweaking and I have tweaked it. Alrighty, so I'm gonna pop that in the oven and put it in there till I think it looks a bit harder. Alrighty. By now. <laughs> okay, and it's been in the oven for about eight minutes, coming on to 10, and then I let it sit in the heat for a bit, but it's lovely and, if you can hear that, nice and crisp, and it smells absolutely gorgeous. Now, um, this is literally just for like snacking on, what have you, because now that um, I have been confirmed to having diabetes, I'm trying to cut down on what I eat and how much sugar 
I have in the old Bodaroo. So we're going to let that cool and then what we're going to do, we're going to uh, chop it up and then I'm going to show the inside and we're going to have a little piece. Alrighty guys, and it's cooled and I've just broken them up into nice little pieces and put them into an airtight Tupperware box. Alrighty, so there you go. Super easy, simple. Literally all you need is your leftover cereal, some water, and that is literally it. Apart from the cooking appliances, but there you go. Alright guys, well thanks for clicking onto my channel today. This was Cooking with Sasha China, and this was my version of um, quick and easy little um, leftover cereal bars. There we go, I'll call them that. Cereal bars. <laughs> Alright guys, see you guys in my next video. Bye.